Welcome SAO survivors! This time we got Mito and Asuna fighting, Tokyo Game Show is arriving with Elicization Liquoris and Variant Showdown news, a brand new series by Reki Kawahara, United Ring 4 English release coming up and more. It's me GamerTurk and welcome to This Week in SAO for all your weekly Sword Online news. Starting with the only Scarto movie news of the past two weeks given that there isn't much to talk about due to the current indefinitely time delay of the release, I mean there's the Pizza Hut collab, but is that even news? If you think it is, hit the like button, and if you don't, still hit that like button because the YouTube algorithm is going bonkers and the channel can use your support. But anyways, we had been seeing a lot of signs over and over that the delay decision was quite the rushed one, and the collaboration event at Yokohama Burg seemed to have <laughs> quite the vital screenshot of what was previously left ambiguous before the intended movie release. Huge thanks to Yoru on Twitter for the close-up shot but we see the confirmation of the forest scene in the trailer that it is indeed Mito and Asuna fighting so at this point it's highly likely that this is a duel that transpires from Asuna trying to shove Mito away saying she is no longer the noob that requires her protection and Mito basically forcing her to prove it with a duel and just to get ahead of the wave of people claiming this is replacing the duel between Kirito and Asuna and are getting concerned on Twitter and stuff because of it I'll just call the waters here, you're probably misled by the manga adaptation of Scarecrow of Deep Night. In the light novels, that is the source material, the duo never had a duel in Scarecrow. The book begins with them attempting one, but Asuna is completely frozen, unable to attack Kirito, which prompts him to take the initiative in the duel, but upon seeing his intense battle face, Asuna calls off the duel before he can do anything. So no, Mito Asu fight is not replacing a duel that never happened to begin with. Also this scene over here feels more like a mid-story conflict that'll get patched up at the end, whereas the Kirito Asu duel attempt is early scherzo in comparison. Moving on to the light novel news. This is your two week warning to pre-order Sword Online Volume 25 United Ring 4 English release by Yen Press. You can find Amazon and Book Depository links in the description with a recommendation to prefer Book Depository for your pre-orders due to Amazon being very delayed with Japanese LN pre-orders and the book is currently scheduled for September 20. The reason why I'm saying currently is because well Progressive 8 had quite the last minute delays back to back last time around round but also the digital version of volume 25 United Ring 4 has received its preview on ebook websites and well <laughs> the map illustration at the beginning of the book has quite the issue that being having the description box from the previous United Ring volume map copied over to it. United Ring 3 has a description for the Kirito town in United Ring whereas United Ring 4 having more of a focus in Underworld has a map of the human empire's northern quadrant here without a description box at all. Not sure if this is something already fixed for the physical release or whether they'll need a delay to get it fixed for printing and logistics and stuff or whether they'll just deem this to be a minor error that they can ship the book with. All I can say is we notify the Empress and we'll see what happens in the upcoming two weeks. Now again volume 25 of Sword Online begins and continues with quite the climactic events inside the United Ring game and spends a little bit more time in Underworld to unravel some more mysteries as the Underworld plot is being built up now. Once again that is September 20 for the release date and links are in the description for you to go grab it but be prepared for potential last minute delays just in case. Now big news over here for those of us expecting SAO Progressive 9 to release in Japan this year and kick off the adventures on floor 8 with the continuation of the L4 campaign and the promise of stuff spicing up on that floor getting ready for the climactic and potentially devastating ending on floor 9, Riki Kawara is instead coming out with a brand new series altogether. Demons' Crest is a new series focusing on a VRMMRPG, <laughs> how familiar, that seems to merge with reality and tells the tale of a brother and sister and their friends scheduled for November 10, 2022 
2 in Japan and will be following Yen Press closely for the licensing news on the English side of things. Little is known at the moment for the new series Demons' Crest, Celeste and I have translated the synopsis which you can pause the video here to read and for those of you who want to learn more about this new series or want to know whether this will have ties to Sword Art Online slash Axel World or not, I will have a separate video later this week so subscribe and stay tuned. But yes, this makes the amount of series Reiki is currently writing to a grand total of 5 and that does not include all the side story projects he has to work on throughout a given year and anime projects to supervise, co-write. Demons' Crest joins the busy ranks of Sword Online main series, Sword Online Progressive, Axel World and Isolator, the latter of which has not received any new releases since 2019. We will have to wait and see how this will affect the overall release schedules for all the series, but we already know that it caused Reki quite the pain this year, so much so that the promise of Progressive 9 being released in 2022 no longer seems all that realistic with the November slot covered by Demons' Crest. And Progressive 9 was expected before the next United Ring volume since it was mentioned late last year and the next United Ring volume is coming out on October 10 in Japan. Speaking of October, wow that's a great segue, I couldn't have done it any better, Dengeki Dio Magazine October 2022 issue has been released bringing out the next volume of the Sword Online RE Aincrad reboot manga by Kimi after a month long break. We are finally finishing off the first floor boss fight so it'll be interesting to see where the manga will go from here as it's not supposed to be an adaptation of progressive but an adaptation of the main series stories and side stories. As for the Mother's Rosario prequel, SAO Sisters Prayer manga adaptation by Beko Riko that releases in the exact same magazine Dengeki Dayo, it takes a break this month and will return in the November issue instead. A little bit of a niche news, the Art of Sword Online exhibition is returning as promised coming to Osaka Hirakata Park Event Hall 2 and will be available from November 19 through January 9. So if you're one of those rare Japanese fans following my channel or are planning a trip to Japan around Osaka, that may be something to keep in mind. Sword Online Anime 10th Anniversary celebrations continue. SAO Anime, SAO 10th and a couple more Sword Online related hashtags have received a special Kirito hash flag on Twitter. The Kirito hash flag on these tags will remain available until November 20, so happy tweeting. On the weekly celebratory illustration side, there is one that features the entire cast by manga artist and illustrator Takamura Masaya and a Yu-Gi-Oh focused illustration by Yamada Kotaro, the mangaka of the Phantom Bullet and Illustration manga adaptations. And of course, our weekly ritual of the fan favorite episode poll, the Japanese fans have voted the Blue Eyed Demon from season 1 as as their third ranking favorite. This is of course the Kirito vs Gleamized episode from the Aincrad arc. As for rank 2, that is a session episode 24, My Hero, featuring Kirito vs Quinella and of course the farewells to yuji right before Kirito becomes a dual wheeler. We'll receive the top ranking episode this week but pretty much everyone can guess it at this point. Expect season 2 episode 24, Mother's Rosario, to top the rankings there with its great emotions as well as, you know, actually being a good adaptation. On the SAO game side, it was quite the light news period all around, which is to be expected. All of them are now preparing for Tokyo Game Show and the TGS livestream has been scheduled for September 18. The link is in the description, like everything else. You can click on it and YouTube conveniently tells you the exact time in your local zone, so that's the best way to handle it, rather than me telling you in UTC or CET or JST or whatever. Still looking at the individual games, Variant Showdown official account has shared an SAO mini manga thing, to be honest. I am not exactly sure what this is, whether it will only have a single panel like this with a caption or something that actually resembles a manga with multiple panels. I guess we'll have to wait and see because they haven't clarified exactly. With the arrival of September though, they also shared their September calendar featuring Asuna with birthdays of SAO characters marked on it too. And last but not least, they shared a mini Q&A 
which has no real information if you're already closely following the news regarding the game. It certainly looks like it's aimed at those they are trying to reach rather than already have in their pockets. Of course, you shouldn't be expecting a release date with these kinds of small news drops. Tokyo Game Show is just around the corner. We are not getting juicy news before then. Okay, just gonna go through the rest really quickly here. On the Integral Factor side, Floor 91 has arrived. I'm hoping to record and upload it tomorrow. Hopefully, <laughs> haven't had the best time these days so everything about my schedule and mental state is fragmented aside from floor 91 4.5 global anniversary celebrations are around with a lot of free pools and stuff among others just check the notice board in game for all the available free and non-free banners and all the stuff like that on the unleashed blading side kinda sorta the same new season is here the tales of collab is continuing the original moon cradle sequel is continuing and stuff you know like that last but not least on on the semi-regular translation corner, we bring you the translation of an audio project this time around. This is the drama CD featuring a small snippet of Lisbeth's day three weeks into Sword Art Online, just when Asuna was heading into the Labyrinth Tower in hopes of getting herself killed. The translation link to Dreadful Decoding is available in the description. It also has a similar story for Shilika which we hope to release in the upcoming weeks, so stay tuned for that. That's it for these two weeks, are you looking forward to the new original series from Reiki Kawara? Or are you one of those who are kinda sorta bummed about not getting Progressive V9 instead? Do let me know down below in the comments. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. A lot of you don't follow me on Twitter but you should for the fastest SAO news. Hope to see you all again next week. Until then, stay cool.